Hi guys, that's when I was everyone doing? Good, 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 I hope. I am finally going to review a Lush fragrance. Oh my gosh, been on the radar for a long time. I have the Gorilla set. I think the last one I did was Sun, and that was a long time ago. Two years, maybe? Anyway, as it's summer, as Lush is a UK brand, an England brand, I am English, and this is called Flowers Barrow. I wanted to review it because it was the first one that intrigued me from that bunch. Yeah, I've been holding on to it for a very long time. I tend to do this, it's really bad practice. I don't know about you, but I'm a massive Lush fan. I worked there for two years, so I'm a self-confessed Lushy. I love their products. I've had previous really good experiences with their fragrances. When I worked there many moons ago, they actually only sold two fragrances. Oh, hello. Uh, one was Karma and one was Ginger, and both were quite expensive, and both were really, really strong. This review isn't gonna be super positive, because I think I've set myself up for disappointment. When I hear Flowers Barrow, I picture English Country Garden, I picture a little fence, and I picture a wheelbarrow that's no longer in use as a wheelbarrow, but is more used as a plant pot thing with little flowers all tumbling out of it, and that kind of thing. So things like daisies and sunflowers and just, I don't know, herbs. That's, that's kind of what I expected but it doesn't really smell like that. But anyway, I'll tell you about it anyway, because that's what I'm here for. So they describe it as fresh and fruity. Hmm. Hmm. It says here, a fresh floral fragrance with a heart of blackcurrant, an overgrown tumble of brambles and rose are at the heart of this perfume. Chamomile and geranium create the space and freshness of the Dorset coastline, a timeless and quintessentially English perfume. So the notes are geranium, rose, blackcurrant, and Roman chamomile. Um, mm, already I'm thinking, mm, okay, fine, fine. Could have been a whole lot more stuff in there though. They did a bath bomb years ago called Summer Blues. I would expect it to smell something like that, given that was one of my worst ever bath bombs. I hated the smell of it. <laughs> But um, that's kind of what I thought I was going to smell. But let me put it on my hand. I have a little thing of it here. I did actually have Lord of Goat Horn as well, which was gross. I wish I kept it so I could have reviewed it for you, but never mind. So anyway, what does this smell like? The beginning part of it to me is actually kind of cool. It's the bit that's got the most character in it. It's the part where I can feel this... I guess you could call it maybe herbal fragrance, but really what is immediately apparent is rose, and it's really amped up because it's got geranium in it as well. Geranium is intensely rosy, and geranium also sometimes has, when you smell it on its own, a lemony type character to it. And it's not lemon as in a citrus type lemon. If you took all of the, I don't know, kind of sharp citrusy elements out of lemon and you're just left with the core of what lemon actually smells like. That's the kind of nuance that geranium has and that's what I can smell in this. It's kind of like the geranium overtakes everything um, and there is a slight kind of interesting herbally tone to it but it's astounding how quickly it changes. I'm talking minutes and all of that stuff is gone. Gone, gone, gone. And what you're left with is essentially a rose fragrance. Weird, the more I smell geranium, geranium's really complex, and the more I can smell it in this, the more I feel there's a slightly minty feeling as well, which is strange. Anyway, and a tiny bit of kind of lemoniness coming through, but that also fades quite quickly, and yes, I get it. I get that the, the rose is the, the English flower, the English rose, it's what we love. It's the symbol on so many things of ours over here, the rose. You know, they say, oh, she's a true English rose, that one. Like Princess Kate. So it does have a bit of bite at first in the wet stages. It does have, geranium is quite a weighty, intensely rosy type flower. And um, that, that, that is there, I can feel that. So that's kind of good. But it's just overly rosy for me. I, at Flowers Barrow, I had this whole thing in my head, like I said, and. I guess maybe that's slightly why I'm a bit disappointed. Anyway, I'm here to tell you what it smells like, not what I thought it was gonna smell like. But just to tell you, just in case you say, you see it and you see this green label and you think, oh, Flowers Burrow, that sounds kinda cool. And then it's just essentially a rose fragrance. The geranium makes it feel a tiny bit jammy when it's wet, but then when that disappears, you are left with a single rose. A soft rose though, nonetheless. Um, it's slightly powdery and it's really sweet. This isn't anything, 
like overly floral like a tea rose or something like that or a, a crisp rose like you might find in Stella it's more of a slightly old-fashioned type soft sweet rose and that my friends is all I can say about this fragrance and um, oh apart from longevity let's get into that it becomes a skin scent very quickly probably about 20 minutes this is a super quick developer and there's not much going on in it to be able to, for it to be able to be complex or anything like that but it's a really quick journey it's quick succession we're here oh come on oh that's kind of oh no that was geranium and oh we're landed at rose it does linger on the skin for probably i'd say about two hours and um, i have never sprayed it on me but i have used this much of it and that's been used in a very short amount of time and um, you can get quite a bit of this on your skin in one go it is very very wet like that so I just want to close this review by saying that I feel that Lush, obviously, they're known for their bath products. I think it was when they announced they were going to start going into the, expanding their perfume line, I was really, really excited because Lust I have, which is amazing, the first set of fragrances they had, the ones that come in the black uh, packaging, um, Lust and um, some of the ones from Be Never that I used to love, like Thousands, Thousand Kisses Deep, that's my favourite one and love they have one called that as well i feel like these new wave of lush fragrances none of them have blown me away yet in terms of how strong they are so i've got lots of the others in this kind of second i think they called it the second what did they call it now somebody let me know below but no below <laughs> yeah you catch my drift yeah what i was saying was anyway before i completely gobbledygooked myself I just feel like these new wave of fragrances, maybe the quality's gone down a little bit, and that's not, I'm not saying that as a bad thing, but Lush is not cheap. I know, because I use their products. I love them. The fragrances, though, for me, so far, have left a lot to be desired. So, anyway, I will review the rest. Anyway, much on my note, come and go down there to subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon for more reviews. Goodbye.